panel work completed. So 18 panels well laid and it's cloudy kind of like it's about to rain but I'll let you see what we are directing at uh, irrespective of the weather right now. So um side note. So let me run you through what we have. So these are all so the first box you see here but everything is well labeled so that uh, anybody that comes will know what to turn on and what to turn off. So this first box is our DC surge and breaker box. We have a little written note here so that people don't tamper. Thank you for stopping by, please don't tamper. That's fine. So our DC box, once you open, since we have two strings of solar panel, we have solar one and we have solar two. So it, they should always be on unless they want to do maintenance on the solar panel. So this controls solar one and this controls solar two. <coughs> That's all for the DC box. And this charge controller is the solar stream one, it's touch screen. So the screen cannot really display the parameters on it. So that is it, it's, it's charging. So you have nine panels coming here, stretched, that's for solar one. Then the inverter itself is an hybrid. So you have nine panels coming here. So this is solar two labeled as well. So when you come here, the system is on now, right now. So once you come here, this is the AC surge breaker and changeover box. So once you open, if you want to power NEPA, this takes NEPA into the inverter and NEPA into everything connected to the inverter. And this is a uh, AVS. I've set it so once the voltage in the house is lower than 190 to cut off, I need to switch to inverter to protect the system. And once it's more than 100, uh, 245 volts, it will cut off over voltage to protect the system. So this is a surge protector, AC surge protector. So this is a changeover for the old house. So if you take it down, it's bypass, put it in the middle, that is a neutral. Then inverter as it's labeled, take it up and we have light. Yeah, so there's light. So that's it for the AC control. So it should always be on inverter. The bypass here is paraventure. The inverter is faulty so that everywhere, the old house will not be in darkness. Everything connected to the inverter will not be in darkness. So just a switch, neutral, NEPA or bypass, back to NEPA see if the inverter doesn't exist. We'll leave it here so that's it voila we have light so that is all and uh, that is your full system and uh, all the manuals and uh, some communication cable for the inverter if you have more than one inverter is there I'll, we always keep it on top of the battery for easy access and the two batteries are sitting well and doing just fine so this is the side the inverter it's working this is uh what's the time now to six in the evening the weather has been so cloudy but we are still getting 111 14 volts and 130 watt from the panel solar one same thing solar two so please uh another important process the battery should be the first thing to turn on let's assume you have turned off the system the battery should be the first thing to turn on before every other thing and the battery should be the last thing to turn off so for instance, I want to go out and uh, I want to turn off the whole system. Maybe I'm traveling for one month. So the first step is you come here, all the inverter light is gone. Then you come to your DC box. That is if you want, but you can always leave it on to charge your battery. You break them off, off. And you come here probably put the house on bypass so that once there is NEPA, your security light can function. Turn off NEPA, close it before offing your battery. Any button, since uh, these batteries are connected together, they communicate, they have the communication cable. So anyone you press will turn off both of them. The same thing when you're turning it on, but you have to press and hold for like two seconds as a child looks so that the child doesn't walk in and just press and turn off everything. 
So you press and hold for a while, and they are all off. So battery should be the last thing you turn off. So <clears throat> your system, battery should be the last thing you turn off, and battery should be the first thing you turn on. The last you turn off and the first thing you turn on. So walking back, I want, I'm back from my travel. I want to turn on the system. I press any of them. They will all come up. From there, you move to turn on your solar panels. Solar one, it shows those lights. Solar two. Inverter shows us lights. And you turn on your inverter. Turn on your nepar if there is nepar. Or if you want to be totally disconnected from the national grid or nepar, whatever, you keep this off. And you take it from bypass and we have lights. It's very, very important. Battery should be the first thing to 